Hello everyone, this is Dr. Aditya Gupta. So this is probably one of the most requested videos by now. And how do you study Robbins? How do you study pathology in the first place? Right? Now the problem with Robbins is like, no, first of all, before let's before getting into the how, let's understand the why of it. Why is it important to read Robbins? Because pathology as a subject, and if more importantly, if you read it from Robbins, it will make your life tremendously easy. You know, it will help you with your medicine. It will help you with pharmacology. Small amount of pharmacology is there in, uh, even in Robbins. It will help with microbiology. The infectious disease chapter is good. Every system-wise they have given, you know, the important microbiological diseases. It will help you in surgery later. It will help you in medicine later. It will help you in pediatrics later. It will help you in obscurity. Basically, every other subject of your MBBS will become easier if you know your pathology well. When you're doing orthopedics, when you will be learning about bone tumors, it will be easier if you have done it in pathology. When you are doing, uh, you know, ENT, again, some same thing uh, will again keep on happening. So that's why it's very important to know your pathology and read Robbins properly. Now, the problem with a lot of people what have with Robbins is that they feel that Robbins is too bulky. And at the same point of time, it's a bit hard to comprehend. Although I don't personally feel that the English is written in a lucid and a easy to understand manner but the main problem that people tend to have with Robbins is they consider it to be bulky and they consider it they won't be able to remember it later so what's the point of reading it in the first place right that's absolutely not true so how do you study Robbins how do you study Robbins so you retain Robbins also you are able to complete it also despite its bulk and at the same point of time it does help you later in your future exams let's say PG or let's say you are someone who wants to top for that matter you know you want to get a gold medal in your exam Right. So I got a distinction in pathology. I read Robbins only. In fact, nobody in Ames reads anything except from Robbins. So let's begin the discussion right now. So first is how do you read it? The first method is what I followed is to read it like NCRT. All right. And there is one major difference. And pretty much anyone who aspires to get a top 500 rank in NEAT PG, I would say that this is the method you have to choose. All right. If your goal is a thousand, two thousand, three thousand rank, then fair enough. You can watch the video further. But if you want to get a top five hundred rank, you have to read Robbins like a NCRT. Pretty much every topper that I've interviewed, top hundred, three hundred, five hundred, especially, they read Robbins like NCRT. No doubt about that. You can't get a top rank unless there are. See, everyone is doing marrow and prep ladder. Your difference to get a hundred, top two hundred rank is how good your concepts, especially your pathology concepts, are. And you have to read NC like NCRT or Robbins. This is an important difference that I want to highlight. The problem with MBBS students is when I say read it like NCRT, they tend to consider it like they have to remember each and every line. Like, like I said, I'm telling you read it like NCRT. I'm not telling you to remember it like NCRT. You have to read it fully. You have to read it fully, but get it marked. Get it marked by a senior. Uh, who has given the exam to know which are the important SAQs, which are the important previous questions for your theory exam, from your second prop point of view, from your professional exam point of view. Don't try to ratify, you know, read it properly, read it multiple times, no doubt about that, but don't try to ratify. All right, you have to make notes, you have to make, you know, try to remember something, what that ratification is important, your important previous question, your important so a short answer question important long answer question that's about it so this is how i read my robins you know this is my robins frankly up to it's almost broken down for that matter right so this is how i read robins multiple times you know and more. having said that it does not it does not mean that i have read every robins like multiple times so this is thymus for example my senior said it's not important so i probably read it just one time 22 key 11 is important you all know that uh, you know Dijor syndrome is very important, uh, has been asked multiple times. One thing was marked, then the other thing was marked, but I didn't marked for that matter. Right? But yeah, ALL, AML is important. So this is ALL. Right? ALL, ALL clinical features, these things are asked multiple times, especially the risk factors are asked, asked multiple times, you know, and the risk stratification is asked multiple times, Reddit multiple times, this image has been asked multiple times. So that is why, like, you know, you can get your seniors marked. So read fully, understand, get your concepts strong, ratify and make notes of the things that have been marked by your seniors, your SAQs and your previous question. You can consider if you're like, you know, I have to read PG. So read, in, uh, read your Robbins fully like NCRT. Use, you know, coaching notes, Maro, Preplada, Kisi Ke. Yeah, even for that matter, I'll give you the example. Divya has also made really good notes from Robbins. Like, you know, for example, this is hemolytic anemia. This is, this is what they are asked, TTP versus HUS. 
short note on that hemolytic anemia my hereditary spherocytosis tell us the pathophysiology so all these notes are made from uh, you know that's how you have to make notes you read a concept you concise it and you make your own notes try to get into the habit right now you can use coaching notes as well or you can use these notes as well and i will still ask you try to make your own notes use them as a reference rank all right so this is how you have to do if you want to top 500 rank this is the most time consuming method because you have to read it fully then you know concise it yourself make notes a lot of people will be like some aisa nahi hoga pura ka pura i can't do this bulky reading meko live bhi enjoy karni hai bakchodi bhi karni hai and all that so coming to the second part if you are someone who feels ki i am just going to read harshmon before the exam pass the exam fair point but meko thodi robins bhi padni hai so that i don't miss out on robins then to them my suggestion is please do the tables and diagrams and the related text read harsh mohan pass your exams that's perfectly fine but robins mein jo important topics hain aur jo robins ke sare tables all the tables and the diagrams please do them so see i have taken the example of hodgkin's lymphoma i have read hodgkin's lymphoma hodgkin's lymphoma is a very important topic but having said that my senior has also marked btr only for the table of hodgkin lymphoma and the table is conveying everything which is given as far as the text is concerned more or less it's conveying everything so if even if you are reading hodgkin lymphoma from harsh mohan you can at least do the table from here you can at least see these images because these images will be picked up and asked in your exam so at least you have seen the images from robins because robins images they will be picked up and asked in exam so even if you're someone who's been reading harsh mohan or even for that matter i think ram naik is that book me kon pata bhi nahi hai for that matter kuski ne bataya hai even if let's say you are reading that book tables and diagrams uh, robins ke kar lena it will serve you better usse related to thoda bahut text hai wo zarur robins se kar lena this is the least effort one fair enough now comes the best of both worlds all right main thoda old school hu main kahunga koi videos dekhne ki zarurat nahi hai but i understand that a lot of you will be having fomo one of your friends will be buying maro or preplatter or you know e curricular whatever it is to tumhara bhi lene ka man karega it's fine it's good to use these resources but do not rely on them i'm taking this example with the help of a quora answer i think dr eshita if i'm not wrong maine isko post bhi kiya tha she has wonderfully told how to use videos properly i personally feel videos are not required as far as second year is concerned but i do also understand the immense fear of missing out and fomo you guys might be in to purchase a plan plus they're not that expensive also like 5 7000 rupees if i'm not wrong thode aur expensive bhi ho sakte hain what she said is do a video 30 minutes mein video dekh lo 1.5x mein understand the topic then read robins her concept was that either do a video you can have indian resources there are free pathology videos also like pathoma ki i'll give the link in the description of pathoma videos really good videos video dekhi concept samajh mein aa gaya uske baad read robins properly and at the same point of time jo frequently asked question hai previously asked question hai unke notes bana do and this is what she had done so if you see clearly she has done the video it's not like she has not done the videos then she has read her robins completely obviously not like mine kam thoda sa i also i read robins very very diligently but this is also decent enough you have read your robins properly and at the same point of time jo bhi important questions the important questions that are going to be asked like vascular events in an acute inflammation this is a commonly asked saq you know commonly asked uh, you know these markers p selectin p uh, you know as sim single one liners and everything commonly asked usko se sticky notes banaye hue hain so that you know for a, from an exam point of view she is also going to talk so this is the best method i would say in current scenario if you are someone who wants to use video resources if you want to ask my recommendation for video resources it will be you can use free me pathoma videos are there i'll give the link in the description if you want to buy a platform then from pathology point of view not overall by the way from pathology point of view my opinion is preeti sharma and dr anjita the best followed by vanna puri swarsh gupta praveen sir in one category followed by ila ma'am all right and but my main recommendation to you is please don't get in the habits ki maine videos dekh li maine notes kar li and that's it i'm done you will repent later because there are things which are given in textbook that make your understanding much better and those small things will also make you more proficient as far as your neat pg is concerned as far as your rank is concerned see videos and notes to sab padhenge what is your advantage right wo book padhne se aayega that advantage will only come if you read the standard textbooks if you don't read standard textbooks your the way the kind of doctor that you are going to become is also going to be affected the kind of rank that you get in neat pg examination is also going to be affected so fair enough you are in fomo you want to use videos that's perfectly fine use videos 
but read robins fully and that's what she also said it's not like she's not using videos but she's reading robins properly and then what she's rectifying from an exam point of view she's already marked it and sticky notes bana li hai all right me koi lagta hai ki video pad ke robins padho fir sticky notes banao usse acha do baar robins pad lo right you can do that robins is a really good blue book you don't need to you know you don't really need videos to understand it you can read it yourself and still understand it it's that good a book frankly but yes obviously if you're not finding some some topic tough you can always have a video as a adjunct don't make it the primary thing understood all right so these are the three ways you can read robins first the hardest way possible रीड इट लाइक एनसीआर टी एफ एक्यूज एस एक्यूज प्रिवियस क्वेश्चन को मार्क कर लो उनको रेक्टोफाई करो उनके नोट्स बनाने की हैबिट में आ जाओ राइट और यू कैन यूज कोचिंग नोट बट ओनली फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट ऑफ एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू नॉट की या उसको रट्टे मारने रीड रॉबेंस पूरी अच्छे से एक बार पढ़नी है यू कैन यूज रिव्यूज नोट ऑल्सो फॉर दैट पर्पज ऑल राइट द सेकेंड पार्ट इज हाउ यू कैन डू इज यू रीड हर्ष मोहन फेयर एनफ यू पास फ्रॉम हर्ष मोहन यू पास फ्रॉम नोट्स ओनली बट रॉबिन्स के एटलीस्ट टेबल्स एंड डायग्राम्स को कर लो द लीस्ट एफर्ट वन बट दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी वेरी हेल्पफुल द फाइनली जो आज कल लोग करना जो आज मेरे हिसाब से करना चाहिए इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच वीडियोज फेर नॉफ वॉच वीडियोज रीड रॉबन्स फुल्ली देन रटोफाई द एफ एक्यूज एंड द एस एक्यूज उनके स्टिकी नोट्स बना लो बट नेवर एवर ट्रस्ट मी वेन आई से दिस इफ यू फॉलो दिस मेथड कि मैं वीडियोज और नोट्स करके कोचिंग के एग्जाम दे के आ जाऊँगा पास जरूर हो जाओगे नो डाउट अबाउट दैट बाद में पछताओगे आज समझ नहीं आएगा बट बाद में डेफिनेटली पछताओगे राइट नोट्स कर वीडियोज करनी है ठीक है श्योर एन ऑफ बट रीड रॉबिन्स ऑल्सो इवन रंजीत सर इफ एम नॉट रॉन्ग इन हिज वीडियोज ही हैज मल्टीपल टाइम्स रिप्लाइड कि दोज वीडियोज आर नॉट अ सब्सिट्यूट नो टीचर कोचिंग प्लेटफॉर्म टीचर हर सेल्फ विल से और हिम सेल्फ विल से कि दैट देयर वीडियोज आर अ सब्सिट्यूट फॉर रीडिंग स्टैंडर्ड टेक्सट बुक्स इफ दे देम सेल्स आर नॉट सेंगे दैन वाई डू यू वॉन्ट टू फील वाई डू यू फील देर सब्सिट्यूट फॉर इट राइट योर कंसेप्ट विल भी फक्ड अप फ्रैंकली इफ यू डोंट रीड अ स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स बुक प्रॉपरली और राइट in the link there will be two links uh, links to how the wonderfully written divya's notes pathoma video link and kaplan videos link all right i hope you enjoyed the video have you understood how to read robins padni puri hai ratte table diagrams are important essay ke aur uske maanne hai that is the main concept all right thank you and have a nice day